Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to unbox the new GoPro Hero 11 that I picked up for the YouTube channel. And also I picked up the GoPro Media Mod and I've also picked up the GoPro Display Mod. And we're gonna get the GoPro set up on the GoPro Quick App. I'm gonna walk you through how to get this GoPro 11 set up on the GoPro Quick App. And as a bonus, we're gonna take a look at the Teslin metal cage case for the GoPro 11. And it will also fit the nine and 10 cameras as well. So we got a lot to unpack here. Stay tuned to my channel and we're gonna get the new GoPro Hero 11 unboxed. So let's get started. This video is not sponsored by GoPro. I actually purchased this GoPro Hero 11 out of pocket and I picked this up on the GoPro official website. So anytime you buy from the GoPro's website, if you have the subscription, you get $100 off for your cameras and you can get 15% off of your accessories. So visit the official GoPro website for the details. I will include that information down in the description below. Now, let's get into the unboxing of the GoPro Hero 11. So I picked this up a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting around to opening the, the new camera. So the GoPro camera is well packed. As you guys can see, the new GoPro Hero 11 and uh, comes with a 27 megapixel camera. It's waterproof up uh, to 33 feet or 10 meters. It has eight times slow-mo, time warp 3.0. It has super photo. It has webcam mode. It's mod ready. Got the mod. It has the G2 processor. It has live streaming at 1080p. It has data overlays, voice control, and it has 5.3K at 60 frames per second, or 4K at 120 frames per second, or 2.7K at 240 frames per second. So this is the GoPro Hero 11 Black. And it also comes with a new Enduro battery. So let's just open up the contents of the new GoPro 11. So we're going to set the, open up the case to the GoPro Hero 11. So inside of the kit, comes with a USB type A to a USB type C cable. So this will be your charging cable, USB type A to USB type C. Also in the kit comes with a curve GoPro mount. You can mount that to your helmet or on any surface that has a curve. Comes with uh, a thumb screw. And this is the Enduro battery. And the Enduro battery from the GoPro Hero 11 will also fit the GoPro Hero 10 and the GoPro Hero 9. So we have an Enduro battery. And also we have a GoPro mount for the camera. Comes with the GoPro literature in the case. Also, let's open the case and see is there any other contents inside. And the new GoPro Hero 11. So 
I've been in the process of upgrading my cameras over the past few months. I picked up the GoPro 10 and now I'm, I'm very excited to have the GoPro Hero 11. So let's take a closer look at this 11. If we can get the camera to slide out of this wrapping. Okay, there we go. We have some protective film on the front. And we also have some protective film on the lens. And we have a piece of protective film on the rear. The GoPro Hero 11. I give you four side views. There is a side as you guys can see. GoPro 11 and it actually looks identical to the GoPro Hero 10. So let's open up the battery compartment. I'm going to slide down this little latch and we're going to install a battery. So we've got to charge the battery, but I've already have a battery from my GoPro Hero 10. So we're gonna install the battery. Before we install the battery, we're gonna need a micro SD card. So let me grab a micro SD card. We're gonna install the micro SD card and then we're gonna install the GoPro battery. So I picked up a micro SD card for the GoPro Hero 11 and the size would be a 400 gigabyte. It's a SanDisk Extreme Pro, got to have a micro SD card, get this open. So the SanDisk micro SD card also comes with a SD adapter. Um, if you're going to place this inside of the SD, place it in like so after you upload all your footage and now you can upload all of your footage to your, your device or your home PC. So I'm going to sit the SD card to the side. I'm going to install the micro SD. And this is just like the GoPro Hero 11. And when you install the card, you want to make sure that the writing is facing um, facing you if the lens is facing forward. So I'm going to install the micro SD card, push it in one time to take the card out, press down and the card comes right out. I'm going to put in my battery. Turn on the camera, we're going to press the side button and hold it down for about one to three seconds and the camera should turn on. Here we go. So the camera is on and we're going to have to get this thing updated and set up to the GoPro quick app. So I'm going to select the, the prompts. I'm going to select English. By using the GoPro, I agree to the terms. I agree. Turn on GPS tag. I'm going to leave that off. Uh, install the GoPro Quick app on your phone to finish the settings. Leave your camera on and follow the app instructions. So in this portion of the video, I'm going to turn on my GoPro Quick app. So to install the new camera, 
we're going to go to. So we're going to add a new camera. We're going to click on the plus sign on the top. So I clicked on the plus sign at the top. We found your GoPro. Connect camera. We're going to hit pairing. Swipe down to change the pro mode in the dashboard. We are going to name this GoPro Hero 11 Black number. So I'm going to rename this number one. Name saved. We're going to update the camera. So before the camera will work, we need to update the camera. Connecting to your camera's Wi-Fi. So that's the thing about this new GoPro camera. You have to you have to perform an update in order for everything to work. Your phone or tablet will ask permission. I'm going to hit update. I accept the terms. Transferring files to camera and I'm going to let the I'm going to let the percentage run. I'm up to 40 percent. It says do not leave. Don't leave the app. Your GoPro will power off and on a few times when the update is complete. Your camera screen will return to normal. So we're going to give this just a couple of minutes and we're going to allow the new GoPro 11 to update. So generally on the updates on the GoPro camera, it only takes just a few moments or a few minutes uh, via the GoPro quick app. So we're going to just give it a few minutes and let the GoPro Hero 11 update. And while the camera is updating, um, I noticed that the GoPro Hero 11 looks it looks identical to the GoPro Hero 10. I mean, including the size, the buttons, everything looks identical. So while the camera is updating, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification. It'll notify you every time that I post a new video. So now that the update is complete on the GoPro quick app, it says all set. I'm going to click done. Connect to the cloud. It gives you that option. Uh, auto upload, get highlighted videos. And we're going to do this later. Uh, enable notifications. No, thank you. And it says the GoPro Hero 11 is ready to go. I'm going to click let's go. And it gives me a lot of uh, menus within the GoPro quick app. I can live stream, view media, enable the preview. I can record. Uh, and it also just gives me a lot of different options. It shows the battery life and also it shows the recording time that's left on the SD card. So that's pretty nice. So now that we have the GoPro Hero 11 connected to the GoPro Quick app, let's go through some of the settings. So I'm going to scroll up. No media. I'm going to scroll down. And the interface does look a little bit different than the GoPro Hero 10. Voice commands uh, gives you a lot of different options if you want to lock the screen and you can set your camera up to your preference. Video mode highest controls easy. You can go into some of the preferences. Set up auto upload uh, wireless connection general GPS. Uh, it even has voice control displays date and time. 
so you can set the camera up according to your your specifications uh, has a reset so it looks a little bit different inside of the camera than it does on the GoPro Hero 10 but basically all of the controls are pretty much the same so let's take a look at the GoPro media mod so I'm gonna turn off my GoPro camera by holding down the button for three seconds that powers the camera off. So let's take a look at the GoPro media mod and what comes inside of the box. So unboxing the GoPro media mod comes with some GoPro literature comes with the media mod and it comes with a microphone windsock a GoPro thumb screw and a GoPro shoe mount So we're gonna set those items to the side. And now let's unbox the GoPro display mod. Get that opened. Comes with GoPro literature. There's the GoPro Media Mod screen. And also it comes with a GoPro cable, USB type C to USB type A. GoPro cable. So we're gonna set that to the side. And now let's take a look at the First, let's take a look at the media mod. So looking at the media mod, they give you a, a windsock that goes over the microphone that's mounted on the media mod. So and it snaps on like so, just like that. And to open the media mod, you just pull down on the latch So to install the GoPro into the media mod, you have to remove the door um, because inside of the media mod is the GoPro USB type C. And the only way it attaches to the camera is you have to remove the door on the camera. So we're gonna open up the battery door and we're gonna snap off the GoPro door. It comes right off. You can put it right back on if you like like so, or you can remove the door. It only takes just a second. Remove the door, and now that accesses the USB Type-C inside of the camera, and we're gonna slide it into the media mod, and it's going to connect to the, the male USB Type-C inside of the media mod. So we're gonna slide the media mod into, we're gonna slide the GoPro into the media mod, and now we can close that door. And now we have the GoPro Hero 11 attached to the media mod. And now we gotta go inside of the camera and turn on the media mod setting. So now I can go into the camera and turn on the media mod setting. We're gonna turn on the GoPro by holding down the power button for at least three seconds. GoPro 11, we're gonna flip the camera over and now it says the mic is set to the front, tap video settings to change it or to set up a shortcut. 
So we're going to tap. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to preferences. And we're going to scroll up until we see the word mod. And it gives you the option for the max lens mod or you can connect a standard mic with a 3.5 millimeter cable or you can connect a powered mic. And this setup is just a little bit different on the GoPro 11 on the GoPro 10 right on the screen. You can generally change the resolution. And normally on the GoPro Hero 10, you can actually see the video settings on the back. But as you can see, the video settings and the camera resolutions are not being displayed. So now we got to go into the settings. I'm going to slide down on the camera and I'm going to slide to the left. I'm going to hit where it says control easy. I'm going to tap control easy. And we want to put the camera into pro mode. So we're going to slide forward or up. And now we're in, we're in the uh, control pro mode. And now we're going to slide back to the right and we're going to slide back down or up. And now, as you can see, you have the video settings on the front of the camera. So if I want to go in and change any of the resolution settings, I can click on the pencil type icon to the right. And that will give me the ability to change the resolution, the frames per second, the lens, uh, hyper smooth, schedule capture, the duration or hindsight and also the timer and the zoom. And you can also go into the pro tune settings for additional uh, settings to really dial in those nice shots with the GoPro Hero 11. So let's take a look at the display for the GoPro 11, the display screen. On the side, it has a USB type C. Looks like a USB type C connector for the cable. I'm gonna peel off some of the protective backing. And it actually has a cold shoe amount for the cold shoe. So we're going to slide the module onto the, the cold shoe. We're going to just slide it forward. The GoPro uh, display mod, basically you need to have it charged up before you can use it with the, with the media mod. So if I take the media mod and I put a fresh battery inside of the GoPro Hero 11, Slide it inside of Media Mod. Connect the Display Mod to the front of the GoPro 11, and then plug in the the micro HDMI cable. Turn on the GoPro Hero 11. As you can see, the rear screen is working. Front screen is disabled. And then when I turn on the display mod, it disables the rear screen. Now you can see the front screen on the, the GoPro 11, but it disables the rear screen. It also shows the battery uh, level inside of the display mod. Now, if I turn off the display mod, you're going to see that it turns back on the, the rear screen. So on the GoPro Hero 11, when you connect the display mod, you can't have the 
front display mod and the rear screen on at the same time. You can only have on either one or the other. So if I turn on the display mod, it's going to disable the rear screen, as you guys can see. So I think that's kind of a bit of a pain. Um, I would like for the display mod to show everything that it shows on the rear camera at the same time, but unfortunately that is not the case. So when I turn on the front display mod, it disables the rear screen. When I turn off of the display mod, then the rear screen actually turns on, as you guys can see. So that's kind of one of the disadvantages of this display mod, but it gives you the ability, if you're gonna do some selfies, if you're gonna uh, take some pictures, you can actually see what's going on on the front screen of the display mod. Unfortunately, you can't see what goes on on the rear. So if I was going to turn on the display mod and I was gonna film outward, I can't see what's going on on the rear, only on the front. And if I turn off the front, then it turns back on the rear. So I would like for the camera to be able to see the front and the rear at all, t at all times, but that's the disadvantage to having the display mod. So there's the display mod and we're gonna snap back on the, the windsock on the GoPro Hero 11 to shut off the GoPro Hero 11. And we're gonna hold down the side button that shuts off the GoPro Hero 11. And we're gonna connect the GoPro Hero 11. We're gonna connect it to the Teslin metal cage combo. So I'm gonna set that to the side. We're gonna open up the, the Teslin metal cage combo. So you're looking at the Tesla metal cage combo. And one of the things that I really like about this particular setup is I have it on my, both of my Honda Gold Wings actually. And the way it works is you have a metal door on the rear and you can take your GoPro camera and you can place the camera inside of the, the metal case and then slide back down the the rear now you may ask yourself well what is the advantage to that well here on the on the metal cage you have these feet on the rear so once you actually mount the camera you can just lift up the the door and then slide out the you can slide out the camera without having to uh, readjust the angle with the GoPro media mod. If you notice, you have the, the feet on the bottom. If you slide the, the GoPro 11 inside of the, inside of the media mod and you let out the, the shoes. Once you place the thumb screw, through the screws, the only way that you can get the, the only way you can get the camera out of the media mod is you have to remove the, the thumb screw. You have to flip the feet back down and then you have to open up the door to slide the camera out of the media mod, which is a pain. So if you have the camera already adjusted, maybe on your motor vlogging helmet, you have to uh, move the camera, take out the thumb screw, just to slide the camera out of the, the media mod, just to change the battery. The thing I like about the, the metal case is that you fold your feet up slide in your camera and now 
put back the door and the feet that's on the case does not prevent you from taking out the camera out of the metal case. So now that the camera's in the case, I can lift up the door and now I can slide that camera out of the case without having to take the thumb screw out of the bottom of the camera. I've used it, I love it. I have it on both of my bikes because it has its own, it has its own place to put your thumb screw as opposed to using the, the feet on the camera, you just use the feet on the metal cage. So this is a big improvement over the GoPro 11 media mod. And it also has a spot here for the cold shoot. So you have a cold shoot on the top and you also have a cold shoot, cold shoe on the rear. It lets you access the on and off button and you can take the battery out without having to take the camera out of the case. So this is a huge game changer. I highly recommend this case to anyone that has the GoPro Hero 9, 10, or 11. It is so much more convenient than the media mod. So there's a lot to the GoPro Hero 11. Unfortunately, this video cannot cover all of the settings within the GoPro Hero 11. But let me know what you guys think about everything that I showed here in the video from the GoPro display mod to the GoPro Hero 11 and the media mod, as well as the Telesim metal case for the GoPro Hero 9, 10, and 11. Let me know what you guys think. I will include in the description of the video quick links to all of the items that I've showed here in my video. So if you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, take the opportunity to click that subscribe button and also click that bell notification. It'll notify you every time I post a new video. So let me know what you think, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys later on the next episode of my video. Thank you.